This video shows teachers how to create an assignment within the Delta Math online system. So you're going to log into Delta Math. You're going to go up to the menu here. It says Create Edit. The pull down menu. You're going to then you're going to select Create Standard Assignment. And then where it says Create Assignment, you have Overview, Skills, and Due Date. So let's start with Skills. All right. So you need to select some assignments um, within the Delta Math system. So you need to select a year. Um, you could say check them all, and then you can scroll through this to find the topic you're looking for. That's a lot. Um, let's say I'm looking for triangle sum theorem. I can go to geometry. And then within geometry, I'm going to go to polygons and angle sum. And here I go. I think this is what I want. Solve interior angles of triangle level one. Let's just take a look at those problems. Yeah, that's what I want. Great. Go back. So then I'm going to say hit the little plus sign. Boom. Now, how many are required? I'm going to have five is the standard number, but you can say, yeah, I want to give 10 of these. I want to give them 15, whatever uh, you want. And then if there's a penalty, I go with the standard one off, which means um, they go backwards one. If they have, to, they have to net five correct, but you go minus one every time you miss one. Um, so the accuracy does matter uh, through the practice. So I like that. If you don't want a penalty, you can put zero. Um, so then... I have my assignment, I have what I want, I go to overview here, I give it a name. So let's just call this um, Triangle Sum Theorem Level 1. All right, whatever you want to name. Now, what period is this for? This is going to be for my IM2 practice class. And I want to post it immediately. And then what's the due date? So, okay, you come in here and you select the due date and the time. You want to have a late date? Great. What percentage do you want to give them if it's late? Maybe you want this at the end of the unit. Um, maybe you don't want any, any assignments after the unit is done, or it could be the end of the quarter, your choice. Um, but there's your late date. You want multiple late dates with different percentages, you can put that in as well. Once you're done, you say, create assignment. There you go. The assignment's in there. Um, let's do it one more time. Create edit, standard assignment. Uh, this time, I'm going to go multiple problem sets. Again, you name whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do this for my IM2 practice class and post immediately. Skills. So this time I say, okay, I want uh, that level one problem. So I want five of those. But then let's take a look at level two. Oh yeah. I want to get level two problems in there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and put that in also. So now there's two parts to that assignment. And you can put as many as you like. Um, just Bearing in mind how long is it going to take students to get that done, how much time you're going to give them to complete the assignment. Um, and then when you're done, again, due dates. And if you want a late date, great. And percentage. And say create assignment. Okay. So now let's, where do you see the assignments? You go to student data, say view assignments. And you see the two assignments I have here. And obviously, I only have one student in this class myself. Uh, but you have the Triangle Sum Theorem Level 1 assignment. Uh, you can click on that. Uh, you see that I haven't done anything yet. But once students do things, you'll see. You can see specifically what they got done, what works. So you can here is an example of something I've done in a different class. I want to look at one that I finished. Here you go. So you can see the student did it. It also gives you the time that they spent on each, each problem. Um, so you can see that as well, which is kind of nice. And you also see, it's really cool, is when you can see a couple at red X's, and then you see a bunch of green, green check marks, shows how the students learn from their mistakes and improve. And there's other times you may have students that just struggle the whole way, and you'll see just a lots of problems that they went through, and they, that they definitely need a little intervention. So that's it for creating assignment within Delta Math.